This is a story of a man illegitimately called the bastard son of Elvis Presley, falling off the wagon, rolling over curiously into the dark side of the guitar world of Guitar Center. Please stay tuned for part two, where we will endeavor towards a true Cinderella story. Thank you very much. I'm sorry, boy. I was doing so good. But I fell off the wagon. Would you ever forgive me? I done gone to the dark side, boy. Your daddy let you down. I done gone back to the dark side. I fall off the wagon. Oh, but look at that bubble, boy. <laughs> that was some good stuff right there. <laughs> oh, baby. I'm off the wagon. I'm back in the dark side. No, I don't mean it. Son, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Your daddy let you down. Oh, I'm gonna do better, boy. I'm gonna do better for you. Just for you, boy. I'm gonna do better. I promise. Y'all will never know what a blessing it is to have you here to catch me if I fall. So, as I come clean and admit to my failures and the temptation of Guitar Center, you're here with me. And if this doesn't go well, you know who to call. You call that bunch up there in Memphis and tell them come get me. So what we have here today is supposed to be in good condition, a 1968 Baldwin 706B. That's right. Even though some say it's a V, as in vibrato. But we're going to find out what we got either way. And it's supposed to be in good condition with the original case. <laughs> I love you forever, baby. Checks in the mail. <laughs> you know the rest of it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Pocket knife. Don't nobody dare send me a new one. This is my old trusty case knife. Got the point broke off so I don't accidentally stab myself. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> yeah, you know. You know the difference between Guitar Center and going to a casino is you know you're going to lose at the casino. At least when you get done with Guitar Center and you wasted all that money, <clears throat> you get a box that you can let your dog play with. <laughs> and sometimes you get lucky. Let's find out. I bought here was a guitar in the case, but I already see, I don't know why, I don't know how. Well, I kind of know how, because they knew it was coming to the love child. They know I'm old school. Now look at that beautiful chord right there. This guitar come out of Arkansas. And I'm going to tell you, they some good folks in Arkansas. I even like the governor over there. I ain't saying I date her, but, uh, but her daddy don't play too bad a bass guitar. Uh, well, they got a little kink in there. What are they trying to tell me? <laughs> you got to watch these folks, especially from Arkansas. But look at all these old school chords they done giving me today. I'll thank you there, Arkansas Guitar Center, uh, store number, whatever you are. I appreciate you. And that was a nice thing to do because, you know, old old love child likes his old school. You can tell. Check for his bubble wrap. We like bubble wrap. They got some bubble wrap on the top, but they ain't got a whole lot everywhere else. But anyhow, this ain't going to be so bad. Oh, hold on. Let me fast forward. I'm getting old. This is what you call the birthing process. I'll teach you something. In this birthing process, when you when you get the guitar out of the case, oh, I finally got it. Anyhow, anything that's left in the box. It's called the afterbirth. Elmer's going to play with that later. Now to mention that with my boy Elmer. And my, my boy son dog. He's a fine boy. He's a handful. Are you ready to see what I'm going to see it with me for the very first time? 
that's why every now and then I get a loser and uh, when I do I got it on videotape you want to call me a liar trust me I'll be on your doorstep and I bring all my friends with me so here we go I don't know if you can see right here but it's a heavy son of a gun did I say that right there she says Baldwin Baldwin 1968 Baldwin are you ready it should open up just like this great condition now great condition 1968 Baldwin they tell me they tell me the body is made in Italy and the neck was made in England are you ready are you ready let's get it right here let's get these lights adjusted just right oh 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 give up all my production secrets here you ready one two ready go matter of fact you get to see it before i do there you go oh looky what fell out holy moly i got an extravaganza here All right, I just opened the sun of a gun up. And there's some old strings in there. They've been using Gibson strings. There's one of them doodads that says Baldwin on it. They put that up around the neck. Put your strap on. Here's a little drumstick doodad. Boy, here's, here's half of a music stand. Here's one of them old school capos. It was $4.50. Let me tell you a little secret. Tell you how old this capo is. Tell me how old this capo is. You notice something about that box? Huh? Any of you geniuses out there? Notice something about the box. There ain't no barcode. What does that tell you? That box right there is 50 years old. Anymore. Look here what I got. Well, there's another one of them little drum doodads right here. Y'all seen this for the first time? Same as me. Oh, look at that. I got the tremolo arm. Ain't that amazing? It goes, it'll go right down there. Ain't that amazing? Got more bubble wrap. Yippee. Got a nice strap here. Now, this is real, the real school leather right here. Sorry for my camera work, but hey, I'm, I'm just about halfway excited over here. Here's, oh, looky there. You know what? I ain't gonna go out of my way to tell you, but you go on reverb or someplace. That's the little wrench you use to, uh, tighten the truss rod on the neck and that's worth a pretty penny right there and then I look inside of here and here's a a couple of uh, little glass things them old I better watch it looks like there's some broken glass in there and there is some broken glass um, I don't know if they're little pinky slides or what but there's a mold uh, picks mold whatever so and then all that all that fell out the dog box. But anyhow, all right, we're here to see the, the star of the show. So I got some goodies. Like I said, I'm I'm real excited about this this half a music stand that got to ride around there knocking the dog mess out of it the whole way from Arkansas to Alabama. I'll be right back. Pull the guitar out. I can already see it ain't great condition, okay? It's not great condition. <clears throat> why is it not great condition cosmetically can you see there in the light cosmetically it ain't real happy let's look at the back cosmetically the back ain't real happy do I give a rip no let's look at the rest of the guitar uh, as far as I can tell the pots are there That's that's always a plus. Pit guard ain't busted. Cosmetically, looks like these uh, Italians they laid the lacquer on it hard. <clears throat> but you know, I really could care less. They got it detuned, and it's got about fifty-year-old strings on it. All these little bridge pieces right here that are important to have, they worth having. So, is it great condition? No. Bindings messed up. Finish is cracked. Right now we're on a 50-50. A 50% chance I ain't sending it back and shoving it up their nose. All right, But 
All we can do is tune it up with these old raggedy strings and see what it does. I'll be right back. Folks, you let me take these glasses off so you can see my pretty eyes. Look, folks, when you watch one of my reviews, you get it like it comes. I ain't on here for algorithms. I ain't on here to kiss nobody's backside. I tell it how it is, and I let you know what the deal is, all right? I'm a working man's reviewer. That's right. I work for a living. All right, you ready? Here goes the juice. Oh, I put the juice to it. Oh, I hear a buzz. I hear a buzz. I got me one of them genuine Chinese imported cords. You know, let's try it again. Oh, got juice, baby. I got a tuned A440 or thereabouts. Let's see, it says bridge volume, bridge tone, fingerboard volume, and fingerboard tone. Let's go with the bridge right here. Bridge volume. Uh, might have something to do with that switch. Got a little juice coming out. Let's go ahead and turn up the fingerboard volume. Might have something to do with the amplifier. I don't know. My first time. It's my first time, baby. You know... got something working on it Italians made the body and the English made the uh, made the uh, neck So what I try to do with every guitar I get is uh <clears throat> Okay, so what I try to do with every guitar I get before I get out of here, I sometimes remember to sing my daddy's very first hit and uh I said blue moon of Kentucky Keep on shining I didn't put the tremolo arm on there, but I know it's going to work because I can tell that it's broke. Well, heck. Boys, they, they got it zip tied. All right, I don't know if you can notice, but right there, right there, it's got a break. Somebody's got a teeny little zip tie on there. Holding the tremolo together. And, uh, not a real good deal. All right, I'm going to let you look at it. If you notice right there, the uh, tailpiece is broke. That's right. That right, right, right there, you dummy. All right, you know, I'm your love child. I ain't never lied to you, and I ain't about to start now. So, here's, here's something I'm not going to let it keep me down. Right here. This is your Guitar Center good condition guitar I'm fixing to show you, that dumb dummy. Buyer beware. Put everything on video. If you notice right here. Right about there. See see where the, right there. Right there where my eyeball is. Move it down a little bit. 
there's a broken spot on the on the tailpiece. It broke as a joke. They got a teeny little zip tie on it. They got a teeny little zip tie on it. I don't know if you can see that or not. They got a little zip tie holding it together. And uh, right there, you can see that zip tie. So there you are, Mr. Good Condition. Busted tailpiece. Tore up finish. Piece of junk. Ball me a ball me a car. It's a piece of trash. Guitar center to kiss my.